automobiles have been the primary mode of transportation for most of us and we depend on them for our day-to-day -day commute. Unfortunately, there are lots of mishappening that could occur while driving an automobile, and brake failures are one such case. In this project, we will build a circuit that can be attached to our vehicles, which will monitor the brake of our vehicle, and provide us an audible feedback if the brake fails. These are the components, which are needed in this project. 1 NPN, transistor, BC547, 1 kilo ohm resistor, 1 10 kilo ohm resistor, 1 red LED, 1 copper wires, 1 buzzer, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off, rocker switch, 1 zero PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery, to power up the circuit. This is an on-off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor, to protect the LED, from high current and voltage. This wire connects the transistor to the ground and 10 kilo ohm resistor connects the transistor with a positive supply until the wire gets break transistor remain off and buzzer remain in silent mode when wire will break then transistor will get a high signal at its base terminal and become on positive terminal of buzzer is connected to the positive supply when transistor will turn on the negative terminal of buzzer will connect with the ground and start beeping These are the components, which we will use, to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. This is a buzzer. Buzzer has two terminals, positive and negative. It has a sign of plus on its stop. It shows that this side is positive, and the other side is negative. Negative terminal will be connected with the transistor, and positive terminal will be connected with the positive supply terminal. Now we will solder the transistor. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will connect the components with each other, according to the circuit diagram. To avoid any damage in the circuit, 
make sure that there is no wrong connection or shorting between the components. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. Now we will connect a 9 volt battery and test our project. To test the project, we will connect our circuit with a dummy bike. This black wire is used as brake wire. When we cut the wire then buzzer should be. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number. 7007957715 to buy the items used in this project you can visit our website www.eraltech.com you can give us the orders on whatsapp also thank you so much